and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is a 10 minute ultimate beginner's workout. Nice and simple. We have 10 exercises, 35 seconds on each one, followed by a 25 second rest. Nice and simple, low impact moves. And again, just take it as easy as you want or as fast as you want. But ultimately, we're gonna try and work together for 10 minutes and at the end of it, you're gonna have more energy. It's gonna just be a nice little way to wake your body up and hopefully lift your mood and your vibe and really set you on a journey to hopefully exploring some of the other workouts here on The Body Coach TV. So first up, nice and simple, we're gonna march on the spot. So nice straight back, lifting the knees, off we go. So 35 seconds of marching. It's not about full speed, you can go slow or fast, but ultimately let's try to keep the back nice and straight and drive the arms as you come up with the knees. So marching, and obviously if you wanna make it a bit tougher, you bring the knees slightly higher each time. Perfect. So again, if any exercise you get to go, I'm not into that, don't fancy it, you can switch it, you could do another marching, you could um, have a bit more rest, but let's try and finish the workout. It's only 10 minutes, 10 moves, 10 minutes, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Perfect, right, relax. Now we just recover, we catch our breath. We're now gonna go into a, an exercise called a knee drive. So we're just gonna step sort of back slightly. You're not lunging, you're just sort of stepping your foot back. And then we're gonna drive your knee up. So if you can, you sort of bring the knee up. Um, balancing on the left leg, hands come up and just drive the knee. So you can bring your arms forwards and drive the knee up. You ready for it? Here we go, so right knee drives. If you can't bring it right the way up, you can literally just sort of keep it low if you don't wanna come onto this left leg too much. But obviously the higher you bring it up, the more you're gonna to have to balance, the more you're gonna work this left leg, and stretch, and knee, perfect. So remember, if you are a beginner, if you're out of shape and you haven't trained for a while, this is the start of your journey, and it's okay, 10 minutes is enough sometimes, just to get you going, just to pick up your energy, and I think sometimes you just gotta start, and the motivation's waiting at the end of the workout. It's never at the beginning, it's always at the end. Three, two, one, and rest. I always say that action creates motivation, so if you're struggling to motivate yourself, always remind yourself how you're gonna feel at the end. That's gonna bring you back to the workout. So stretching forward again, and we're just gonna bring that left knee up as we drive the left knee up. Are you ready? Here we go. In five seconds time, left leg goes back, drive the knee up as slow or as fast as you want. Off we go. One of my favorite things is seeing someone go on a journey from like, you know, just not enjoying exercise, being sedentary, just can't get the head into it, so going on a journey of short little workouts, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes a day, and just going on a physical and emotional transformation because it's really about mental health. It's about changing the way you feel first and the body will follow. The transformation will come over time, but always focus on how exercise will make you feel at the end of it. It will, it will change your mood. It will help you feel more patient and calm with your kids and everything. It's amazing. About three, two, one, and rest. Yeah, I always think about that because I have days where can't be bothered, but I think, do something. Just go for a walk, go for a bike ride, just get out, move your body. It's, I think all movement is good for you, all exercise is good for you, and it really changes the way you feel. So, next up, um, you can either go straight into some star jumps. If that's too explosive, just step. So step and you bring your arms up, whatever works for you. Okay, let's go. Again, this is about just you taking some deep breaths, but trying to build the, uh, Build the energy up and also elevate your heart rate as much as you can. So, slower version or faster version of star jumps. And obviously we'd work for 35, we pick our heart rate up, then we rest, recover, and slow it down. 15 seconds. Good, pick up the speed if you can. Nearly there. Last 10 seconds. All the way. And we're gonna be doing a lower body exercise next. For four, three, two, one. Oh. Sort of burping a little bit, excuse me, right. Next up, we're gonna do some slow motion squats now. Slow motion squats, because I want you to really take them slow. So, right, obviously I can go quite deep into squat. I've got good hip mobility, and I'm strong enough to get down. But if you can't get down, and you're a bit tight and stiff, just do like a, a half rep, so a shallower rep, but slow. We're gonna go down together, so slowly down. Nice straight back, and come up. We're driving through the heels of our feet. So drive through the heel to the feet. Rather than come up into the balls of your feet like this, if you are, take your feet out, turn them wider, sit down and stand up. So inhale and exhale. 
also driving the knees out. You're gonna find your knees might try and buckle in. Try and like, drive them out, heels in the ground, sit down, stand up, good. Slow reps, control it on the way down, drive up, one more rep, and relax pose. So this is again, if it's your first workout, you're really just waking your muscles up, you're bringing them to life, so don't expect to go really, really deep into it if you haven't got the strength. Doing half reps is fine. Now we're gonna go down for a hamstring and glute exercise. This is called a glute bridge, so lay on the ground, feet on the floor, hands on the floor. We're just gonna lift ourselves up like this. So we're trying to lift our bum off the ground using the hamstrings and the glutes. So drop, drive up, drop and drive. Good, driving those heels into the ground. So your head's on the floor, your shoulders on the floor, just activating the muscles in your posterior. So we work the quads, we're now doing the back. Hamstrings and glutes. Good, and if you really wanna feel the squeeze, come to the top, clench for a second, hold it, and down. Squeeze, release, clench the glutes. And relax, right, good work. So again, activating the hamstrings, the glutes, it's waking them up. Brilliant. We're now going to try a plank. Now, planks are always quite tough to do a full plank because it's really going to activate your abs and if you don't have the strength, you're going to find it difficult. So this is the aim, a full plank. But if you're a beginner, I would suggest just bringing your knees onto the floor, elbows kind of underneath the shoulders, and you're going to feel like you still want to dip, but lift up and hold. So belly button like towards your spine, pull it up, hold that position. Nice deep breaths. Again, waking up these muscles that may not have been used for a while, deep muscles in the abs, your obliques, and obviously eventually you're gonna lift up to that. But if your back's dipping and you've got all the strength, I'll just stay knees on the floor, knees on the floor, and squeeze the abs, tighten that area. Come and really think about exhaling. <sighs> Tummy up. Exhale, squeeze up. Good, for the last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> and slowly walk the hands back into a standing position, well done, perfect, right. Next up, we're gonna stand up, and what we're gonna do, it's kind of like a, a bit like a front crawl, so we're gonna have a nice wide stance in a sort of half squat position, so we're holding a bit of tension in the leg, and then we're just gonna stretch the arms as if we're kind of front crawling, so stretch, push, and just pull back, so like we're swimming in the water, yeah? Here we go, so stretch, let's go. Obviously you can go slow, or you can go a bit faster, Imagine your front crawling in the sea or in the pool, and we're trying to stretch, reach the arms, and pull back. Good. Go on, replicate that swimming motion of pushing and pulling through the water. Let's go. P big push. You've got another 10 seconds. So we're trying to hold the strength in the legs as well. So a little bend in the knees. Stretch. Front crawl for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So look. It's not super intense, but it's enough to just raise the heart rate, burn some energy, change the way we feel a little bit, and this is the start. So well done, you're nearly there, only two more moves. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna step. So step and punch. So you sort of step the foot back and across the body. So step, and you're sort of kicking the foot up and across, off we go. So step, punch, step, punch. Good, take your time. You can go slow or you can speed it up. One, two, one, two, good, or slow. Come on, let's go, nearly there. Only one more move after this. It's a great little 10 minute workout. It's just good for the mind more than anything. If you're a bit stressed, a bit anxious, your energy's a bit low, it picks you up, you can feel yourself changing. I really believe that by the end of the workout, the endorphins come and you go, you know what? I've got another 10 minutes in me. Right, and you can have another blast, or do a bit of stretching, go for a walk. It's always good just to, to do something. I always just say, just get moving. Last one, knee smashers. Um, so we're gonna stretch up and just lift our knee. So it's sort of like a marching on the spot, but we're bringing the knee up, and as if you're smashing your knees into your kind of elbows. You don't have to lift the knee right, you can just keep it low. <sighs> Off we go, so last move, come on. This is number 10. You've done well to get through this. It's a great little start, and I'm proud of you for just turning up, pressing play, and actually doing it to me. You could have sat on the sofa, you're here now, come on, keep moving. 10 minutes, nearly there. So stretch 
And why don't you pick up the speed for the last little push, ready? So in the last 10 seconds, we'll just get that speed up a little bit. Here we go, ready? 10, come on, let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, push. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Yes, we did it. That's the end of the timer. 10 minutes, 10 moves, nice and simple, low impact. Hopefully that's woke up, woken up your legs, your shoulders, your chest, your arms, and also your mind. So well done for completing that. Thank you for tuning into the Body Coach CB. I post a new workout each week. Go back in the archive, there's hundreds. There's beginner, low impact, easy on the knees. There's intermediate, there's advanced, there's abs, there's so many, there's stretching ones. Please come back, use the Body Coach CB. It's free content, it's always there. And if you want to check out my app, I've got a Body Coach Fitness app where I do like tailored meal plans um, and really amazing progressive workouts from beginner right through to advanced. If you want to check that out, it's in the app store, it's called The Body Coach. Have a great day, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon for a workout either here on The Body Coach TV or over on The Body Coach app. Good luck, see you soon, well done.